Bienvenidos and welcome back to Puro Pinche Gol, the place we discuss all things USMT y la selección mexicana. My name is Adrian, joining me once again, my co-host Tocayo, joining us back from his vacation there in Las Vegas. Adrian, man, how are you, bro? Hey, how's it going, dude? Glad to be back. Um, it was nice to have a break out there, uh, but I'm ready to come back and hit the USMT and San Antonio news hard as possible, dude. Yeah, man, a lot of... Uh, of news has dropped here in the couple last week or so. Um, a lot of videos we're going to be uploading here uh, this week and uh, in the coming future. Um, videos about Chicharito, you know, moving back to Chivas, um, uh, you know, European moves that have materialized here. But uh, this episode today, it's particularly talking about uh, Gio Reyna, man. Uh, Gio Reyna's move uh, finally got that loan move from uh, Borussia Dortmund. Maybe not the uh, place... Uh, he- like everybody was hoping for him to land. Uh, maybe it wasn't his first choice, but uh, he's Premier League bound. He's going to Nottingham Forest, um, a team that uh, is right above the relegation zone, two points clear, two positions above. Um, so another relegation battle there. Um, we saw what happened last time. There were three Americans on a relegation team last year with Leeds. Uh, so this year, you know, we have uh, Matt Turner, um, Ethan Horvath, and now Gio Reyna there at Nottingham Forest. Um, Gio Reyna obviously was, uh, you know, one of the big question marks with the USMNT this winter break. Where was he going to go? Where was he going to land? Uh, he switched, um, his, uh, management or his, uh, you know, his player agent company, uh, to Portuguese Jorge Mendes, uh, a- a- agent. And, uh, that ultimately the things what kind of, uh, decided his, uh, his loan to Nottingham due to, uh, Nuno Espirito Santo being kind of under the same umbrella. But at the end, man, um, let me let me hear your first thoughts on this before we kind of dive deeper. Are you are you a fan of this move? Uh, I think this is not ideal. This doesn't doesn't mean that I think it's a bad move, or I, I I'm also not saying this is a good move. I just think this is not the ideal situation for Gio Reyna at the, at the moment. Um, and I mean for for a bunch of reasons you just mentioned, but uh. I think this is not ideal because of the team that he's going to. And I say it's not ideal because he might get more minutes than a dormant, but this mm-hmm. isn't the kind of team that we would like to see him. And I don't, I don't really think he's going to be uh, having a different role like he already has in dormant. Yeah. Um, yeah. We know from watching Nuno in the past uh, with Wolves, um, you know, with some of his other teams uh, that he, he likes to play very quick counterattacking football. Um, maybe that's not Gio's uh, forte. He, we know Gio likes to control the midfield, likes to control the number ten position, uh, play out the back, uh, play play going forward, but uh, distributing, not really necessarily, you know, counterattacking a quick counterattacking player. Um, so it'll be interesting how he fits into that role. Um, but I. You know, the, the, there was talks that he was going to be going to um, Sevilla. Talks that Marseille was looking at him. Um, personally, I think Sevilla would have probably been the better option for him just because I think the Premier League is a little more physical and him being so injury prone. We saw what happened to Christian Pulisic. He can stay healthy to save his life. Um, kind of the same situation here. Another guy coming from Borussia Dortmund who... We know Borussia Dortmund. I don't know what's wrong with their medical doctors, but we see it with Marco Royce. We see it with Gio Reyna. We see it with so many other players, right, that just can stay healthy. Um, can Is he going to be able to stay healthy here in this more demanding, physically demanding league? That's one question. And, uh, you know, it's always complicated when you join midway through the season like this. Yeah, no. And, um, I mean, I was running around uh, saying that he's – he's a uh, he's, uh, What's it called? The the freaking Bruno Mendes. He's a representante, right? He's a that guy. He's promoter, I guess. Well, yeah, Jorge promoter, Mendes. Yeah, Jorge Mendes. There we go. That guy was offering him pretty much everywhere he could yeah. <laughs> <laughs> until he he went out and used the old trusty Nottingham Forest. Um, and I also, you know, going back to the not ideal situation, uh, and, and just echoing your comments, you know, how Nuno Espirito Santo likes to play, uh not necessarily fitting what Jurena has to offer. Yes, he's going to a more physical league where we all know and we, we cannot lie to ourselves that to say that Jurena this season has not been injury prone. 
he hasn't get in, he hasn't gotten injured because he hasn't played. So let's let's be real for, for uh, with ourselves for for one second. Uh, but also, he's not necessarily the he's not gonna be like on a second or third picking order for uh, a starting eleven on Nottingham Forest, right? Uh, we know by you know by Nunu's previous, he only has six games here with Nottingham Forest. So take this with a grain of salt, right? But um, he tends to play a. Uh, <clears throat> a uh, 4 2 three, one, sorry, um, role there, uh, lineup. And uh, he, he tends to favor Gibbs White and um, Ryan Yates as his kind of number 10 role there. Um, two young players. Um, well, Gibbs White is uh, Gibbs White's 23 years old. Gio's 21. Um, so he definitely has competition at the number 10 role. If he wants to play there. If he's going to play in the, on the wings, he has the likes of Callum Hudson-Odoi there, uh, Dominguez, Nicolas Dominguez there, Odoi, who we're familiar with his game from his Chelsea days, right? Um, so um, I, I think he'll have a chance on the wing more so than the, in the number 10 role, just because there's less competition, I think, on the wings for him. But yeah, I don't, I don't expect this to be a... Uh, he's going to go in right away and make, you know, start every game and play all 90 minutes. No, I think... Um, He's, it's going to be a lot harder than people think uh, for him to kind of go into this, this team right away and uh, kind of cement his spot. Yeah, and, and, and I know that, you know, we want to refer the USMNT players and we always want to see them in, uh, on spots where they can uh, continue to grow and, and be competitive out there, right? But this is, I don't think this changes his situation in a, you know, in, in a very substantial way, man. Uh, I think he's going to find himself in the same spot, eating minutes in the bench. Um, he's probably going to have a few chances at, you know, the, in the very few first few matches uh, once he uh, moves to Nottingham. Uh, but I, I, I really find it hard to believe that he's going to have or he's going to be given the chance to just, you know, prove himself, right? Um, I think he will have to have stellar performances in the first few matches to you know, earn a spot or a, re- a recurring spot for the next, uh, I don't know, for, for the next uh, remaining games of the season. But I, I, man, even if you if, let's say that if he, if he was going to you know Sevilla or uh, perhaps maybe the best option would have been Marseille because they're not fighting uh, for relegation, but Sevilla is, um, and I think. Real Sociedad also wanted him uh, at some point, but I don't think any options would or pre- represented a better uh, situation for him in any way. Maybe Real Sociedad, but Sevilla, Nottingham Forest, I don't think those were ideal options for him. I think, you know, he, in my opinion, I think he, he was better off staying at Dortmund than moving somewhere else. Yeah, relegation battle team is always going to be difficult uh, especially like you said he's going to maybe have a couple time a couple chances there in the beginning right it's a new signing you want to get him in um, but if he doesn't live up to the hype or if he fails if he puts stinkers after stinker he's going to get cut and uh, mm-hmm. just not going to you not going to find himself in the same situation he's in at Dortmund right um, so yeah you're going from Dortmund who's fighting for the title and you're not playing a lot but to go to Nottingham, who's fighting for relegation to avoid relegation and uh, a lot of pressure, different type of pressure. Um, yeah. What would you, so you would have been more of a fan if he had gone to Marseille or a team that wasn't fighting relegation. I think that would have been a better move or a smarter move for him. Uh, and just to give, you know, a little context on my idea is uh, when you're going to a relegation team or a team that is play, fighting for rele- for not to not get, to not getting relegated, the your room for error, right? right? The, the the amount of space that you have to make a mistake is very little. And so if you're not performing out there, right? Even if you're putting in good display, but the team is not winning any matches, they're you know losing points week in and week out, they're not gonna give you more than a few games to, you know, for, for you to be a solution for the team. So you're gonna have you're going to have counted opportunities with, with your hand, with all your fingers, right, on how much impact you can make. But if, if you go to a team like Marseille or Real Sociedad who are not fighting relegation, um, the pressure is less. So you, they're going to give you, you're going to have more chances to go out there and play without that looming ghost on your back, right? 
um, and that could be beneficial for you because if you, you if you put in a good good display for that for this remaining a part of the season, most more likely they're gonna you know want to buy you. And I think right now Gio Reyna has a twenty million tag under his name, or at mm-hmm. least that's what has been reported that that's 22. probably one of the buyout yeah, exact one of the buyout buyout options that they offer to Nottingham Forest. I mean, go, go to Marseille. You have a good display. You know, it's a team that you can continue to develop. You're still young. And even if you have a stellar performance with them, you can still move up, you know, in the change in the chain in Ligue 1 or go to a bigger team in Spain or go, go back to the, or I guess, go to the Premier League. Um, it's just a specific input, man. I think that's, 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 that is the specific thought in my mind is going to a relegation team is a way different challenge that I don't think he's ready for. Yeah, he's never had to face that. He's always been at BVB, and uh, they've always been title contenders. Um, exactly. So, yeah, man, uh, kind of as we kind of wrap this one up, I want to kind of mention some of his BVB stats here. Like you said, he's only 21, so, you know, this isn't the end of his European career by any chance, uh, by any means. Um, hopefully it goes well for him there at Nottingham. But, uh, you know, be, his time there at Borussia Dortmund was hindered by injury. Had some moments of brilliance, had some moments of mediocrity, but mainly just people are going to remember it for his injury, right? Um, he hardly played at all this season. He appeared just for 336 minutes in 13 games in all competitions. He made 121 appearances in all competitions since 2019, scoring 17 goals and providing 16 assists. Um, he's only played, this is a stat that I found that was crazy. He's only played the full 90 minutes for Borussia Dortmund 10 times. Um and uh, I guess the one more crazy thing that, you know, came up with this whole Nottingham situation before he signed uh, for Nottingham or made it official, he extended his contract with Borussia Dortmund until 2026 from 2025 to 2026, one, ex- one extra year. Um, so I guess that's Borussia Dortmund trying to do business and make sure that they have him for the future in case, you know, there's a chance to sell him or, you know, I, I don't think it was, it was for footballing reasons. It was kind of just to have him under contract still, I think. But um, yeah, I mean, yeah, not the greatest of, of uh, careers there at Borussia. I mean, yeah, I mean, there we go. I mean, you're, you're mentioning all these numbers. It's, it's, a, it's just as strikingly, or it strikes me uh, with, a, I mean, not, not necessarily surprised, but just makes me wonder out of five years that he's been with Borussia Dortmund, he has only played ten times, then the full ninety minutes. <laughs> so that should tell you something. Yeah. Is and then on top of that, they they brought him who Jadon Sancho, who they brought him back. essentially, yeah, exactly, cut cut his chances even further down for for being a starter at uh, Borussia Dortmund. <sighs> it's a it's a tough one, dude. I mean, we wish to see him be more successful with Borussia Dortmund, but I guess. This might not be it. And to your point of then extending the contract, um, yes, this is not has nothing to do with uh, I guess the, the 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 sport side of things has to do more with they don't want him to go out for free, yeah, right. So mm-hmm. they can extend their contract, and hopefully they can, they can find a, a pretty suitor that lure him to you know greener pastures for him. I, I hope. Yeah, and they're probably hoping it's Nottingham Forest, but uh, we'll see. Um, like you said, <laughs> we're at the halfway point, a little bit further than the halfway point and the Premier League season, and uh, it's already February. So, um, yeah, he doesn't have a lot of time to make a uh, an impact. Adrian, man, as we wrap this episode up, brother, where can our listeners find us, dude? They can also find us on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notifications. You can also find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcast on. Last but not least, you can also find us on Twitter and Instagram at Puro Pinchegol. We post stuff every now and then. Yeah, and make sure to follow us on your preferred social media platform of choice. And uh, let us know in the comments. We like interacting with you guys definitely down there. Uh, are you a fan of this move for Gio Reyna? Would you have wished to see him go somewhere else? Would you have wished to see him stay at Borussia Dortmund and fight for his place? Um, let us know definitely below. Um, how do you think uh, his uh, his next couple months at uh, Forest are going to be uh, for sure? Adrian, man, a good episode. We'll see you in the next one, brother. Take it easy, my friend. Likewise, man. See ya.